Hello, hello, dear Libra. How are you all? This is Kathy from Divine Debut, and I'm doing your Divine Spread for the 1st till the 20th of December 2019. Thank you for being here. This is uh, December, and December is, wow, December is <laughs> incredible. We're having an eclipse on the 26th of the month. It's the new moon in Capricorn. So it's a solar eclipse and a full moon in Gemini on the 12th. Now today is actually the second of the month and Jupiter has moved into the sign of Capricorn. So it's joined all those planets in Capricorn. So it's going to be there for a whole year. We have to roll up our sleeves, do the hard work and therefore attain um, acquire what we are wishing what is worth the work okay now Jupiter will help us to expand um, but it can help also expand on restrictions which is Saturn now Pluto is there as well which speaks of transformation we're all going through major changes so let's take your Karma Dharma position for Libra please spirit we've got the world so yeah big changes big big changes and the world can speak of successfully completing a cycle the end what comes after the end a beginning it hasn't been easy though this is fixed energies four fixed signs we've got we've got Aquarius and Leo I should say Aquarius Leo um, Scorpio and Taurus, yeah, that's beautiful, okay, I love that it shows Venus, she is ready to be birthed, so what is the divine bringing in for you dear Libra, let's, let's take a look and see, now, please spirit, the divine spread for Libra from the 1st to the 20th of December 2019 Libra please okay what's in your foundation we've got the eight of Pentacles eight of Pentacles so you are trying to secure uh, and and make safe make it a safe haven for you through work and it is a time of working hard as I said Capricorn time obviously Saturn in its home sign of Capricorn is asking for a lot of work now this is my Virgo card so Virgo is also the house of work let's look at some of you may be working from home hoping maybe to go on a trip let's look at what's hidden from you we've got the Knight of Pentacles the Knight of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn for me mainly it's Virgo energy slow and steady wins the race this Knight is bringing you a Pentacle the Ace of Pentacles which speaks of longevity stability um, financial uh, making your life simpler because he holds value he holds value and he's coming in step at a time so you're probably working uh, working with or dealing with a um, earth sign very dependable let's look at the recent past we've got temperance which is the angels spirit something is being worked out on your behalf the angels are helping you along Sagittarius uh, is the sign for temperance and Sagittarius is Jupiter has been transiting Sag for the past year so you know the angels here are making something something that you don't know about because it asks for you to have patience the angels are still working for you so give it a moment let's see what's in the now you may be dealing with a Sag and we've got the Capricorn what did I say 
the card of Cancer and the chariot is a number seven. It's divinely guided. You're sitting on that seat and you are pushing forth. You're going for it strong, um, strongly here, keeping those two horses together. Usually it's two sphinxes. Here we've got a true chariot. And the chariot can speak of changing residence, maybe moving to a distance. For others of you, this could just mean overcoming obstacles. So far, I don't see any obstacles. Let's see what's in your goal. There they are. There they are. Five of Swords. The obstacles could have been around work, and it could have been, uh, we could be talking about harsh energies around your career which is very Saturnian because this is in the area of Capricorn. So it's asking for you to be ready to do battle, okay, to win over your components. It is a conflictual energy though. It's win over all. So you may be in a situation where it's tough. It's tough. And that's why you may be hoping for movement. And this could even be moving a position for work, going to a distant place for work, being, I don't know, sent to another um, another department in another country could be. Let's see what the action and advice is. And we've got the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is Virgo Piscean Energy. We've got the Moon Goddess here. She is holding a key. Use your intuition, your perception. The High Priestess is all about secrets. Here we've got uh, someone is conflicted about whether to talk or not about a situation. Let's see what the outcome is. And we've got the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Not, not um, surprising at all. You knew all about things that were hidden and you were conflicted. So you've known... I feel as though you hold the secrets that could end some sort of a situation. She's accepting those swords, as you could see. She's letting them stab her right in front of her face. So she's knowingly accepting them. So that means that you've wanted, you've wanted this ending, which Ten of Swords breaks down to the Ace. So... For those of you that have been dealing with someone who may have been uh, difficult to deal with, because, you know, the area of the Five of Swords can be your status. You may have been in a relationship where it's been tough, very Saturnian. And may there may have been a lot of... If you're dealing with an uh, another air sign, and you are air, I know, but you know, when the swords come out and the words go flying and the swords are being used, that's air qualities from both sides. So let's see what's in the transits and how you're affected planetarily, dear Libra. And we've got the six of wands, so you're going to be successful and you're going to be recognized for your victory. This is a victory, obviously. Here we've got some sort of an ending. And, you know, this could be that, because it's not the same story for all of you, N no doubt here with the Five of Swords, that you've done battle, you've done the work. You've put in the hard work. Now it's more, you may be turning more spiritual, maybe even changing careers. With the High Priestess, she's very spiritual. She could be a tarot reader, someone who is in the occult uh, profession, someone who's very intuitive, very connected to spirit. And this could have been, for those of you that this is your career, you're changing careers, you were conflicted about it. But, you know... Where there are endings, there are. This is an ending of a cycle, 
and an ending of a cycle means that you are starting something new. You're standing in your in your conviction because Ace of Swords says that you are severing people who do not agree with you, people that are not on the same page as you, if this is career. And the potential is that you're going to be recognized for your efforts. This is uh, stardom. This is uh, being known for your talents. So we've got a fair bit of fire here. We've got Sagittarius. We've got Earth, we've got all the elements here. Let's take some Romance Angels and I will come back to that, to the reading. Please Spirit, Love Life for Libra, 1st till the 20th of December. What's happening for Libra? You may be dealing with someone who is quite stable but very slow moving at work. Now, because we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, for those of you that are single, I will take this card, whatever it is, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. For those of you that have been in a destructive relationship in the past, then that's why you may not be trusting and you're conflicted. And as I said, you may be working very closely with this Knight of Pentacles, which is in the position uh, that is hidden to you. This, this horse is taking steps, very slow but the steps are being taken. Some of you may have been conflicted, if, as I said, if you have been in a relationship because it says it is safe for you to love. So that means that you have been untrusting. Let's take some more cards. Libra, please, spirit. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Hmm. That means obviously that there have been problems. Now a relationship doesn't necessarily have to be romantic always. Even though the um, romance angels do speak of romance. But I feel as though we could be talking about a relationship where there's family members concerned we do have ten swords, so that's a lot of people. Here we've got five and then there's ten. So that's fifteen swords, which is very Saturnian, as is the world card. And Saturn, of course, is the elder. It's someone that's gone through the process of um, learning through difficulties, through life itself which life is never easy it's never a breeze uh, it's we, you know it comes with its challenges let's take another card for libra 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 this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek wow this could be the one is that why we've got the conflictual energy here? Some of you may have been already in a relationship. As I said, that was quite Saturnian. But you may have met someone at work, worked closely with someone where you're on the same page, both very career orientated and have got the same values. And you know the chariot card is the uh, cancer is all about home and family. And this is, uh, some of you are moving home, you're conflicted about it, you're moving out of home, let's say, you're trusting in your intuition and you know that this is the end. For others of you though, those of you that 
have been rocky in a rocky relationship. Maybe your partner's been working too much. Maybe the relationship has been too slow moving forward and now it's time for it to pick up speed, especially with the North Node in Cancer, the North Node of the Moon in Cancer. We're all moving towards the Cancerian energy, trying to find the healthy balance nevertheless be between Capricorn and Cancer, which is work, home. So for those of you that have been conflicted whether to let this go or not, some of you may be already visiting a someone who is psychic, maybe getting a reading, let's say, to see what the outcome would be. Here we've got the Ten of Swords and you, you have got the knowledge and you're accepting of these swords. So for, for some of you, it could mean that you're overcoming the obstacles with the Six of Wands, that's success. Um, and here it does say, give your relationship a chance. Maybe things are changing because you've realized that this could be the one. And sometimes when we say this could be the one, you know, that even that can be quite conflictual because you're thinking, could this be the one? Is it the one? And that's conflict in itself because if you trust that it is and you're making a mistake, that could be quite detrimental. Let's take some more cards, dear Libra. Let's look at the world card first of all and see what that's all about. The world card for Libra, please, Spirit. Some of you may be feeling as though you need to expand your horizons. Okay. Some of you may be wanting to travel the world and work at a distance. Jupiter moving into Capricorn. That's like, you know, feeling as though you need to go on that adventure. And of course, Jupiter is the adventure, but Capricorn is the work. So let's take a card and see. We've got the King of Swords which is, uh, would be logically your energy. For others of you, this could be another air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Let's take another card and we've got the Four of Wands. So Four of Wands is the marriage card. It's the card of success, having a celebration, much happiness, getting very stable. You know, it's interesting here that we've got the Five of Swords the King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. What I feel here is that if you are dealing with someone at work that is um, that is quite intelligent, they could be your um, your competition at work because there is a lot of intelligence here and. The Five of Swords, as I said, is win over all, winning over all uh, any situation. So Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, we do have Aquarius here in the world card. So again, the King of Swords could be your energy and maybe this is saying that you are the one that's intelligent, you're completing a successful cycle and there's going to be a celebration. So let's look at that Eight of Pentacles. We have the star card, which is Aquarius. Okay, so the star is the limit here. Keep working, dear Libra. This is a card of hope, a card of uh, being very social on the internet. This is a wish fulfillment. Maybe you found your wish at work. Maybe you're working on something that you've always wished. Let's look at the Knight of Pentacles. And we've got the Sun. And the Sun is Leo. And Leo can be true love, children, creativity, risk taking. Okay. The Sun is also clarity, it's healing. And it looks very gold here. Whatever this uh, Knight of Pentacles is bringing you. Whatever they're bringing you is going to be very, it's going to be priceless. 
and the Knight of Pentacles could be someone that's very creative. Now I'm going to say that if this is your energy, if you're on the cusp with Virgo, then you are very creative. And your creations will reap rewards. You will be very successful here. Let's look at the temperance. And we've got the lovers. Head over heart decision, soulmate connection. So the temperance is saying slowly and steadily, we're working on your behalf. We're bringing you the love of your life. Wow. Now I'm going to say the King of Swords is in the past position. He's before the end of the uh, cycle. So if we, if you were dealing with another air sign, could be strong air, could have also... Um, let's look at the Chariot card. We've also got Gemini here now, but the Gemini, I feel, the Head Over Heart Decision card and the Lovers is a divine union. It's not something that would be hurtful for you. Let's look at the chariot. Oh, we've got the three of cups. Threes. Three of cups. Celebration. Overcoming obstacles. Yes, this is the one. Let's look at that five of swords. That's why there's conflict here. And five of pentacles. A feeling of lack. An imbalance. Two fives equal a ten. That is a completion. At the end of fighting, the end of um, being conflicted on will you be loved, will you be looked after, nurtured. Now we could say that it goes the opposite way. Will you love, will you nurture. Okay, so let's look at that high priestess. She's a number two. And twos are always about balance. Let's see what else she has to show us. Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is obviously after the Three of Cups comes uh, the Four. The High Priestess says, trust your intuition. That cup will come through. Okay. A new beginning is coming. So don't focus on those Three of Cups of the past. There is a new beginning here and there is, it's a four. Four is all about home security. You will be emotionally stable here and feeling more secure and nurtured and loved. You've got the chariot here, which is cancer. And let's look at that 10. And we've got justice, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect, which is like, it's an 11. So after the 10 comes an 11, you're going through a karmic situation. This is for sure here. And you're balancing out the scales. So the end of that cycle is here. You will receive justice. You will receive the clarity, the truth that you've been hoping, looking for with the high priestess. Don't give up. Let's look at this six of wands. And we've got the Fool, which is a brand new cycle. Aries energy. Wow. Don't give up. You've got to be the warrior. Aries is the seed that's planted. You're starting a new journey, the Fool's journey here. So this is amazing. I love that. I absolutely love that for you, dear Libra. Let's take a few Sabilas and... I want to look at this King of Swords with the World card. Some of you are just being very intelligent. You're being very discerning and you're severing ties with whoever is not working for you. <coughs> Excuse me, the Grand Signore, which is a number 13 and that's the death number, death card. So the Grand Signore could be someone who's quite egotistical, um, someone who is very royal. And we do have the sun here as well, which can be royalty with Leo. So could this uh, King of Swords have strong Leo in their chart? Now, 
the sun says that you're receiving healing and why did I mention wow why did I mention the sun the sun is also in the Leo is in the world card so we've got Leo Aquarius what's missing is Scorpio and Taurus now the Gran Signore many times does speak of Taurian energy to me because he's very abundant he's like the king like the king of Pentacles um, very similar he's very abundant so therefore because he comes from royalty let's say he can be quite aloof quite cold but there is change here because this is a 13 which is Scorpio and Scorpio is transformation and change let's see what else we've got we've got La Mante so we've got an elder um, person which is the king and then we've got a knight which is the eleven of hearts I do feel that these are the two different people that you're dealing with the knight of pentacles I believe in the hidden position is your new partner for most of you and the Lamante can be someone that's very loving someone who is willing to serenade you and that's not the energy of the King of Swords let's take another card and we've got the La Matrici, which is the woman lover the passionate female the magnetic uh, woman and she's all about her desires now she's a number 12 which does speak of Piscean energy and here we've got Virgo Pisces in the High Priestess so I, I believe that this is your energy and she's someone who goes for what she desires now the successful completion is bringing you the Four of Wands so there's going to be some sort of a celebration because you are some of you may have strong fire in your chart of course we do have Leo here so I I should mention that let's I want to have a look at the outcome which is the ten of swords and the justice card we've got delirante so being delirious silly actions this is also nine of pentacles disgrazia the tower comes in seven of swords something that has been hidden is going to show up something is coming down there is a, an epiphany and a wake a wake up call and whoever's been committing silly actions they're going to have a wake up call with a justice card here no doubt and here we've got the viaggio going on a voyage this is the Sagittarian night for me this is either someone that's coming in or going out and it's the three of wands which is usually with the three of wands we're waiting on someone and the knight in shining armor is coming through and remember we had the knight here but this knight does remind me of a fiery energy as well so we do have the Leo card here let's look at uh, Let's look at that Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Swords, which is the Dispiacere. We've got Stanza, which is the Ace of Pentacles. The, the news is coming in about things that have been hidden. This could have to do with uh, intimacy, sexuality, Ace of Pentacles could have also to do with we know that the ace of pentacles could be a steady new beginning remember the ace of pentacles that this knight is holding here and here we've got jealousia hmm eight of swords past past regrets past hurts and past regrets and as well as that it's also the mental prison let's take another card so maybe yeah maybe your uh, will to 
to win over all cost has got others there let's say they're jealous of your your strength here jealous of your strength but also what I see here is you've got two aces and the eight which equals a ten and there's two fives which equal a ten so we've got air earth and air again so if we put the uh, two sword cards together that's the nine of swords but there is a worry about a beginning there's a worry around the ace of pentacles which can be starting your own business it can be the purchase of a home it can be a pregnancy we do have the um, the card of intimacy and things that have been hidden Yes, so some of you may have been worried about things coming to light. If you've had, um, if you've stepped out of a committed partnership or relationship or just started something without being single, then that's probably what you're worried about. You're conflicted whether people will find out about this. And then with the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles is someone that's not concentrating on, they feel as though they're left out in the cold. Maybe that's why you stepped out. You, either you did or the other person. We can always flip the reading. Let's see what else we've got. And then we've got the Vecchia Signora. So you may be uh, getting advice from someone that is older and wiser, but this is also a decision. It is the Two of Swords. So yes, Eleven Swords, just like with the Ten of Swords and the Justice card, which it looks like a sword. It's like it, Eleven. So up here, whatever has happened up here is bringing you to a point of balance, to a point of justice, to a point of legalities as well. And this could be divorce. This could be any legal issues around deception and backstabbing and this again could be in a work situation what I'd like to do is I'd like to take one more card on the high priestess and the four of cups what comes after the four of cups there it is again Balance and justice, six of pentacles, which speaks of Libra, equal giving and receiving, generosity, where love is concerned, where money is concerned. Do not worry, dear Libra. Justice is here. A new cycle is beginning. You've got so many cards of balance. You've got three sixes. Three sixes are 18, and 18, of course, is the moon could it be that around the full moon in Gemini you have an indication it might be a hard time for you but trust and you know trust that it is safe for you to love it is safe for you and this could be the one if this is if this has got to do with love if this has got to do with work or a family situation the fact that you've got the justice card here is amazing and you knew that this you were going to get to this. You were waiting on this. You knew it and you expected it. Okay. Dear Libra, I think I will leave it at that. I do feel as though a wish will be fulfilled here with the star. Some of you, as I said, could be traveling or expecting someone to come in the stars are aligning as I said temperance is working on your behalf there will be a celebration the north node in cancer here trust in your intuition justice is here and you've got a new journey you've got a major arcana in most areas here this is out of your hands Libra whether you like it or not there is an ending of a cycle a cycle that you wanted to end and justice is here for you and it is a very karmic time indeed so I will leave it at that 
I'd like to thank you all so much for being here, for taking the time out, sending you lots of love, lots of blessings. Please look out for the next readings around the 20th. So all the best until then, Libra. Sending you lots of love. Bye.